Olive Branch, I have a question for you. What's that? Let's say, just hypothetically, nah, let me start again, actually. Um, is it possible to create a food that is, one, edible, like you can still eat it, mm -hmm. and two, literally devoid of any sort of nutritional value whatsoever? Now, before you say food like that exists as, like, junk food, yeah, even Doritos has protein in it. So you're asking me if there is a food that is like, like you can eat it, but it contains absolutely no nutrients whatsoever. Correct. So when you poop, that's all the nutrient, that's all the food, that's all the mass that your body can't use, right? And it's being... Uh, yeah. Right. Being, so, yeah. so basically, can you eat something and then when it comes back out, it weighs exactly the same? Uh, I'd argue not because like... Food, like, everything has a caloric element. Unless you're going to eat something, like, inedi like inedible, like wood, hmm. or something that our bodies can't digest, like, whatever we digest, whatever we eat that our bodies like, yeah, this is good, you're going to get something out of it. So the answer is no. Well, not if it's not, if, not if it's not edible to human beings, yeah. So it, it needs to be edible, and if it's edible, then... It'll give know, something, Yeah, just, so the answer is no, okay. Yeah, why do you ask? Uh, it's just something that I've been thinking about for the past couple days. I don't know why. It's just a question that came up, just just appeared in the ether that is my head. <laughs> and you were thinking about Pikmin, and you're like, man, I want to eat some fruit. I wonder if there's something we can eat that doesn't have nutrients. And then it went on from there. <laughs> something like that, I'm sure. Okay, so here we are in South America. Sunny South America. And there are exactly two pieces of fruit that we need to get before we can consider this area done and dusted. So you're going to be going for a 100% fruit run? Yes. For guaranteed? Yes. And there are two reasons why I want to do 100%. Uh, the first is uh, you, get a, uh, you get a special ending if you do 100%. Mm -hmm. And the second is just more opportunities to lose more Pikmin so I can donate more money. <laughs> Very kind of you. I do have a question though, before uh, before you continue talking about today's day. Um, you said that you wanted to get 100% this game. Are you going to get all the secret files? No. No? No, I'm not, not going to I'm not going to go out of my way to look for the secret files. Well, especially not when you can't uh, when they don't give anything and you have to go online to get them, right? I don't recall off the top of my head what the secret files are for. I think they just unlock like website links to special Pikmin 3 videos, something like that. So it's just promotional material within the game you already own. Something like that. I don't I don't know off the top of my head. I haven't seen the videos since uh, we started recording. I'm sure but, somebody can YouTube it or you can just uh, get someone's YouTube at a uh, video and say with a, with credit to whatever and then here you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, if I recall correctly, someone on the thread said they wanted to wait until later in the game, later into the ELP, before they uh, posted links to the secret videos. Oh, that's cool. Well, good for them to uh, pick up your slack. Yeah, really, though. But like I said, there are only two fruits left in South America, and they're both underwater. Well, you got one of them, and now you're just uh, farming spicy berries, or spicy, uh, spicy spray? Yes. While that's you the, do the job. <laughs> that's the only other thing that's worth doing down here. Uh, if I really wanted to, I could get some biomass. There's also... Uh, Olimar, he left something underground somewhere that I never wound up finding. It was some kind of upgrade, and... I Spoiler, I don't get it. Well, not that you need it, right? You're not no. going for an all-upgrade run, you're going for an all-fruit run. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of uh, fruit runs, and speaking of just runs in general, uh, what is the speedrun record of this game? I recently watched a speedrun of this game. Like, the, the topic came up in the thread, and then I got curious. So I looked it up, and I think the current world record is an hour and 28 minutes. And that's what translates to what, like 10 days? Yes, that's 10 days, and that's also 100% fruit. Whoa, that's uh, what? Okay, that's some like 100% all fruit multitasking, man. It's very impressive the speed run, honestly. Uh, I would really recommend you watch it, but only after the LP for obvious reasons. Yeah, 
not gonna spoil myself on that. Yeah. Uh, just like for example, in the first area, the Garden of Hope. Yeah. He gets, he gets Brittany just like like that, like super quick, obviously. Yeah. And and then there's a bridge that you want to cross. Mm-hmm. And the puzzle, well, puzzle finger quotes, is that you're supposed to. Uh, find the pieces of the bridge elsewhere and then construct the bridge yourself. But yeah. what but what this guy does is he stands on the edge of the bridge and he chucks the Pikmin across and then he walks into the water. And <clears throat> and uh, in order to do the speed run, you can play this game with the Wii Mountain Nunchuck. Yeah. And what the Wii Mote specifically does is you see the the targeting reticle that's that off has right now. Yeah. With the Wiimote, there isn't really like a limit to how far you can reach or which direction you can reach. Wow, that's kind of broken. The article, or the reticle rather, with the Wii Remote is locked to my movement as well. So if I want to move around, uh, I have to move the reticle as well. Mm -hmm. But you can move the reticle freely with the Wii Remote. So what he does is he gets in the water and then he points the reticle way, way, way over across where the bridge is to where he threw over the, the Pikmin, which is not a thing that you should be able to do in uh, with the gamepad, with the Wii U gamepad. And then he calls all the Pikmin and they're all red, so they won't survive in the water, but the first, the first instinct will be to join the captain, right? Right. So he calls all the Pikmin, and then before they all jump in the water, he targets uh, the breakable wall that's across the bridge, and then he blows he the whistle. Just them? No, wow. he does, he, no, he does the uh, the charge command. Oh, so I'm guessing that they override the uh, the drowning animation with just charging into the charging into the wall. No, they don't. They don't go in the water at all. That's that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they avoid falling in the water through the animation. Is it a glitch or is no, it just no? Stress? No, they, they don't. <laughs> like they don't. Before the Pikmin can go into the water, he tells them to charge at the wall, which uh, is with the ex with the with the extra distance he's got from the Wii mode. Yes. Or or the the, the nunchuck rather. Also, you lost a ton of Pikmin. Yes, yeah, that's, that's okay. From that from that one leaf guy. So we need we need a memorial for twenty of these dudes or ten of these guys. Well, so they're all blue, right? Yeah. So B and W. B's and W's. Okay, so we have uh, Brian. Do we, we have, do we have a what Walter? What is that guy doing? I don't think we have a Walter. So that's Brian, Walter, uh, Wendell. Wendell, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wendell, um, I think we already said Beatrice. Uh, Brock? We need Brock, yeah, Brock, like uh, Ash, yeah. Do um, you have any other B's? That's four already, right? Yeah. Then we need. Uh, and then then we also need. Friggin' uh, Willy, and then Willy Jr. and Will Willy Jr. Jr. Well, yeah. hang on, well, don't 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 go for the juniors just yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's when we, we lose like 20 plus Pikmin on a single boss or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, sure, we can do Willy. Uh, we can also say um, uh, we need some. We have to. We has we can say Bo. Bo, like, okay. Yeah, Bo, yeah. Bow and B. Uh, bow, bow and B. Uh, Bay. <laughs> sure. Uh, I think we already said a Wendell, right? Uh, yeah, we well, yeah do, uh, just today. Yeah, just today. Uh, Wanda. Wanda. Okay. What, is that, what does that put us to? Seven. I believe that puts us at eight. Maybe. Well, if seven, we can always put one in reserve. Uh, we can also have. Uh, Wumi. <laughs> Wumi. Sure. Wumi. Uh, we can also have uh, Wachowski. Wachowski. And, yeah, Wachowski. He's Polish, okay. That's the last name. And, it's not a first name. Well, he he goes by his own rules. All right, all right. <laughs> and um, and then I guess we can have uh, one last one. God, who knew naming names is so hard? You <laughs> uh, can have BJ. There you go. Sure. He's he goes by his initials. <laughs> All right, so that's the uh, th those are those are the Pikmin had died bravely, escorting I guess an orange, and what is that like uh, another one of those acid shocks? No, um, these ones is died. That like guava? 
These ones died uh, moving the orange, and it was an enemy that I killed. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. It was just the orange, but I could swear that maybe that golden apple-looking thing on the right was also a fruit that they d two of them died in. Oh, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. So now you're just kind of like surfing the surfing the waters because there's nothing to do. Are you excited for this LP to end? Uh, not, not, I wouldn't say I'm excited. I like I like watching you play. I mean, I'm happy to see you go for the hundred percent. That's for sure. <laughs> Those poor nine Pikmin. But I'm happy to see exactly how well you do or how badly you screw up on the. Uh, on the forest of, not the forest of hope, the formidable oak. I don't know why I'm trying to fight this thing, honestly. Does he even give a fruit? He doesn't give fruit, no. And he's mostly air, so he doesn't give that much biomass. Oh, so the game actually, uh, it actually gives enemies that are denser or larger, like, more value? I would say larger, not denser, but yeah, uh, converting the, um... Converting the the maestro, he would give us probably he would give us definitely a whole lot more than this guy. Well, yeah, but I mean, I figured that because this guy is big, he's probably got a big health pool. So you know, because of size, I know size doesn't matter regarding you know Pikmin and all that because you know these little critters fight things many times their size. But I'd figure that that thing at least gives twenty Pikmin. Nope. So I say frigate. Go back to the Bring enemy. It. Put Call him away. Day. Yep. This is the only thing, two things that we came here for. Like this, this video, to be totally honest with you, is pretty low on content. Well, that's why we were just talking about talking about food and talking about fruit. Just yeah, <laughs> coming just, up with names. <laughs> just talk about whatever we can in order to fill up the time because we were only here to get the two fruit. This day honestly went on like twice as long as it needed to. And twice as many Pikmin died for your. Curiosity, I suppose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, since we have some time to kill, and you know this day kind of is already done, we can also think up some other names for future Pikmin that will die because uh, <laughs> I imagine they're gonna die horribly. <laughs> I feel like that's a thing that we should do on our own time if we really wanted to. Just make a list of list of names, and I just whip it out and be like, I got a list right here. Yeah, there's like, there's <laughs> and I just read them out. <laughs> there's a difference between thinking up the names on the spot and coming up with the names in advance. Right, but I figure the names in advance we can at least like make us, you know, let our viewers know that we're not that good at coming up with names on the spot. 61 juices. That's delicious. 61 glasses of juice, and each juice has enough calories in it to last you the day. A crunchy deluge. So what is this, an apple or...? A different breed. Is this like a Japanese pear? A different breed of apple, maybe? Hmm. Cause Not a Granny Smith. This is like a really dark looking apple. Maybe it's a type of pear? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying maybe it's an Asian pear. And I'm not- I don't mean that as an Asian mm joke, I actually literally mean there's a thing called an Asian pear. <laughs> I was just- I was just thinking that. How do I work in the Asian mm joke? 64 juices- well, 63 now. I imagine that, like I said, I mean, what, what are they going to do with the leftover juices? They're going to be, like, offering a limited limited, uh, a limited supply of, like, juice from the actual planet Earth, or PNP-440? Four, 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 is that, what's it, is that the, 404? PNF-404. Do you, you, PNF-404. Four, four. Do, you, do you get that joke? Yeah, I know 404 means a web page is not found, but what is PNF? Page not found. Oh, it's <laughs> okay. So Page not found 404. Yeah, so they're saying Cute. we don't we don't know the name of this planet. So they're basically saying unknown, unknown. <laughs> Lovely. Twenty one days, fifty eight pieces of fruit, and a lot of seeds. That's surprising. That's very efficient work. Well done, guys. And we've picked nearly half of the planet clean of all its fruit. Delicious. Next time we'll be going to Australia. I don't remember the in-game name off the top of my head. And we'll finish up finish that up, eh? And that's a that's a job for tomorrow. <laughs>